Do you ever do something and as you're doing it, you realize just how big of a mistake you are making? That is what this is to me. Hey guys, it is Chelsea Corinne and today we are going to be doing a video that I think I'm gonna regret doing once I start it. We're gonna be starting a series like, Will It Popsicle? Will this thing make a good popsicle? I'm gonna say most of these, the answer's gonna be no, but we're gonna try it anyway. And we're gonna try four different flavors of like SpaghettiO type things and see if it will make a good popsicle. And this is gonna be a series, so I'm gonna try all different weird foods and see if it'll make a good popsicle. This is gonna get gross. If you wanna see if it'll make a good popsicle or not, well, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, like this video, comment down below other things I should try to make into popsicles, and uh, hit the notification bell. I post videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I mean, I just started this week, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna stick to that schedule. Without further ado, let's get to making some popsicles. All right, so I got these little like popsicle things from Walmart. Ooh, open it up. We're gonna start off with, no, let's start off with the traditional SpaghettiOs, right? Here we go. Little Campbell's SpaghettiOs here. Let's look at the can. I've actually never had SpaghettiOs in my life. Like I've never had Chef Boyardee because, um, well, my mom never let us have it. So I've never actually had this. I don't know, it smells like tomato sauce. It's not that bad. It's like ragu tomato sauce though. Can we bend the can, am I that strong? Ooh, okay. It's a bendable can. There we go. Now I have a little pork spout on it. There we go. And pour this into one of them. Oh, this just already just seems like a terrible idea. There we go. So we've got our SpaghettiOs in one. Not got a lot of extra SpaghettiOs. I guess I should try them, maybe. I don't think so, it just seems gross. Now I'm gonna go in with, this is the superhero shaped pasta with meatballs. Honestly, I just got it because it had uh, superheroes on it. It had Supergirl, Batman, and The Flash. So that's why we picked this one, if we're being quite honest right now. I wish it had Wonder Woman instead, but I'll take Supergirl. So again, we're gonna bend the can. Oh, this one's a bit tougher to bend. I feel like Supergirl right now. Oh, okay, that's good enough. All right, pour this. Yeah, there's like meatballs in this one. Oh God, this one smells different too. Oh, this is Chef Boyardee. This is in um, Campbell's. Oh, it's just really chunky. Oh, okay. I'm getting my finger in there because it's just not coming out. Oh God, it feels gross. Like it, it just doesn't, this isn't a good texture. Oh, that's a big meatball. I definitely feel like I need water or more liquid in this one. <laughs> Close this one up. Ew, ew, it feels like a, you could like, ugh, like the, the stick part was like sticking in through the meat. Like, I mean, just, I'm definitely went through some meat, but I could see like some Batman logos. Next we have some chicken Alfredo, pasta with Alfredo sauce. Ooh, and there's chicken in it. Oh gosh, I'm just making it worse. Like we're just getting progressively worse as we go through this. Oh, these got big noodles in them. I don't know how this one's gonna work. It doesn't smell terrible. Not the best. Chef Boyardee doesn't kid around with their cans. Is this like pre-cooked? Like, could I just eat one? Is that a terrible idea? I want to eat a Supergirl logo. Oh, that is the softest pasta. Oh, it's like, she's like melted in my mouth. Pasta shouldn't melt in your mouth. Oh, that was the, oh God, why did I just do that to myself? Got my spoon. We're gonna just scoop this one. This one actually might need water. That's a big scoop. That's not gonna, this is gonna be really hard. Just like shovel it in there. Yeah, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of water to this one just for the fact of like, oh, that was a lot of water. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm dump it right back into the thing. Let's see. Ew, ew, ew. I know I keep saying ill, but this is just, and of all the things that I've done, this is definitely taking the cake. I just want like all the water to like mix in with this. Close this one up. Move on to the mini beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. So not only is there meat in the ravioli, but they put meat in the sauce. That's, that's, that's a bit excessive, I think. We're gonna either try to shove these in there or use my little like crusher, we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to use that because that's probably gonna be where I'm really grossed out by. And I've already in my head realized like I can't just lick these. I have to like 
Oh, they fit in nicely. I have to like bite these when, they, when they're done. Ew. The squish sound as I'm pushing these in is just really freaking me out. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go pop these in the freezer for a couple of hours. I actually don't know how long this is gonna take because it's not just like water. And we'll see. I'll see you in a couple of hours when I sink my teeth into them. Oh. So it's actually day two. I was gonna try to film this like within a couple hours of actually making the ice pops, but when I went to check it last night, and it was like relatively late at that point. They were still not completely frozen yet. The outsides were, but the inside wasn't. So I was like, all right, well, we gotta wait this out until they are. So going in with the SpaghettiO one first. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> mm. mm -mm. mm. Oh. Oh God, that's awful. Oh God, that's so awful. Oh God, that's terrible. Yes. All right, so we're going with the chicken Alfredo, which I didn't try. Oh God, that's so strong smelling. Here we go, we're just gonna hold it here. <laughs> oh. Okay. <coughs> I oh, got chicken in that. Oh my god. The mixture of like flavor and texture that's really what's like your brain doesn't know what to do. Oh shoot, oh that's a spaghetti one already. And I don't like it. I mean I didn't really think I was gonna like it, but here we go. Oh gosh, it's coming out. Oh there we go. This is the meat sauce with the superhero. This also just smells a lot like meat. Like it's just a, a very meaty smell. Oh, I mean, they they look like pops. Like they look like ice pops, but I clearly hate myself. It's okay. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, that was a meatball. That was just a meatball. It, I don't know how my brain wants to react to it because it's similar to, and I'll link it, was the pickle popsicles. Is that, I like pickle flavor, but then the texture of an ice pop with the pickle flavor really just throws you off. Like it just doesn't make sense. As opposed to like regular fruit popsicles or like chocolate popsicles. Like your brain's like, okay, this is, so I feel like maybe if this was normal, it wouldn't be so gross. Cause like, it's not like it tastes bad. Well, I don't like SpaghettiOs, but, um, I found that out yesterday, um, but all right. This is the ravioli. There's like some big chunks in this thing too. Like there's some really big, just pieces of pasta, just mushy, mushy pasta. And it smells still like that ragu sauce smell. Here we go. And three, two, Ooh. Oh, the sauce on that one was very different than the others. And this one was the, this one was the Walmart brand of the ravioli. And then the SpaghettiOs were Campbell and then the Alfredo and the Superhero were Chef Boyardee. So they were different brands too, but Lord have mercy on my soul. This was terrible. And I knew it was going to be a terrible idea but I wanted to try it anyway. But now the worst part of this is, this is the first video of a series that I'm doing of all different popsicles and all the ones that I know are coming next are just worse than this. Like they're gonna be worse. So it only goes down from here. If you wanna see other popsicle and other weird food and just weird videos overall, don't forget to subscribe to Cat Country 107.3. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Hit the notification bell, like this video, and then comment down below other weird popsicles I should make because, I mean, I'm gonna keep doing it. Even though I hate it and it's torturing myself, I will still do it because it's weird. And I like weird. So comment down below other ideas and I will see you back here on Tuesday.